Is there anything we can do to counterbalance the effects of booze? I'm not a big drinker, but that's just me. I've never liked alcohol. It just makes me sleepy. Actually, I've sometimes wished that I could enjoy alcohol more because it is part of the social fabric of being, you know, an adult and you have a glass of wine or a beer or something like that. But I think a, a drink or two every once in a while is not a big deal provided, you know, people don't have a predisposition for alcoholism or something of that sort you know, in the, of appropriate age, of course. But I think that the key is to not do it too close to sleep. I think obviously hydration is key because alcohol is dehydrating. Remember, a lot of the negative effects of alcohol on sleep are by way of the temperature system. Remember, we used to hear that, oh, you know, if you drink and you're outdoors, I guess we've all had the experience of, you know, partying and you're outside and you're not wearing a jacket and it's freezing cold and you feel fine, right? And that's because of the way that alcohol actually, it's, it's a little bit counterintuitive. Alcohol actually lowers your body temperature, but your perception of that lower body temperature is disrupted. So part of the reason you can fall asleep when you drink alcohol is because it lowers your body temperature. Now, it, there's a dosage component and so on, but one idea would be if you're going to drink alcohol, hydrate, the supplements I refer to, at least to my knowledge, that don't interact with alcohol. Obviously the deadly combination is alcohol and any kind of barbiturates or sedatives. So there, there's actually a strong incentive for staying away from sleep medication if you're drinking, right? I mean, people, a lot of deaths have occurred just because people combine sedatives, prescription sedatives with alcohol. But the supplements I'm referring to, as far as I know, don't do that. There's a loss of sodium in your system when you drink alcohol because you secrete a lot of fluid. Neurons run essentially, uh, the way they're able to function is from three main electrolytes. It's sodium, potassium, and magnesium. The actual firing of your nerve cells is because sodium enters the cells, potassium goes out. So a lot of people will feel better if they'll drink water with some electrolytes. Low sugar electrolyte solutions are now very easy to find out there. So that will make a big difference in terms of reducing hangovers and improving sleep. You want appropriate amounts of sodium, potassium, and magnesium in your system. Salt has gotten kind of a bad rap, but there was an article published in Science Magazine, which is one of the premier three apex journals in science, on scientific publishing, about that the whole myth around salt. I mean, it's true that people with chronic hypertension need to avoid salt, but for most people who are consuming enough fluid, salt is great. I mean, salt is something that brings volume, keeps your blood volume up, keeps your brain feeling alert and focused. A lot of times people will feel jittery during the day. They'll think they'll have low blood sugar. Take a pinch of salt, put it in some water, maybe a little lemon juice to kill the taste and drink that. You notice you're just rock solid. Why? You might have been low blood pressure or low sodium. Sometimes people can't focus and they are low sodium. Sometimes we crave sugar and we're actually low sodium. This isn't wishy-washy, new agey California stuff. This is really like, this is goes right down to how our kidneys function and blood volume and how the brain requires a certain amount of blood pressure in order to have enough blood going to our brain in order to be able to focus. So when we drink alcohol, we're inhibiting all these things. You're excreting sodium, you're lowering body temperature, and of course it makes you feel kind of drowsy. Now about 10% of people have a genetic predisposition to get a big dopamine increase from alcohol. Alcoholics have to be afraid of this and, and people who have this need to be on the lookout for alcoholism. I, I have a, a good friend who, when they drink, they experience this dopamine surge. So they can drink and drink and they feel alert and they feel great and they want to party. They, it's not that their tolerance is high. They actually have a dopamine response to alcohol, whereas most people, it's more of a GABA sedative type response. And after one more drink than they normally can handle, they're just ready to pass out or they're kind of heading into the blackout type um, drunk stuff, which is really bad. So just keep in mind that alcohol can have different effects on different people, but for most people, a drink or two, hydrate, hydrate with electrolytes. And then when you wake up in the morning, you also want to hydrate with electrolytes. That's that's really key.